You know folks, I gotta tell ya, there's this guy over in Russia, Vladimir Putin, and let me tell you, he's a real character. So, like Putin, he's been running the show over there for quite some time now. I mean, it's been a while since the Soviet Union days, and now it's all about Russia baby. Putin's like the man in charge, and he's been pulling all sorts of moves that make you scratch your head. Now, Putin, he's a former KGB guy, you know, like a secret spy or something. So, he's got that mysterious vibe going on. He became the president of Russia back in 2000, and he's been running the place ever since. It's like, hey Putin, don't you want to take a vacation or something? But nope, he's there, and he's not messing around. One of the things that's got everyone talking is his love for, you guessed it, shirtless horseback riding. I mean, can you believe it? You'll see these pictures of Putin, like, riding a horse, shirtless, and he's all like, I'm one with nature. It's like he's trying to be the macho man of Russia or something. I don't know, maybe it's a Russian thing. But it's not all about horseback riding in bare chests, folks. Putin's got some serious political skills. He's been playing this international game like a pro. There was that time when he took over Crimea from Ukraine. It caused a whole bunch of tension with other countries, but Putin was like, this is Russia's now. It's like a real-life game of risk or something. And let's not forget about his interesting relationship with the United States. Putin and American presidents have had some real roller coaster moments. Remember when he and George W. Bush were talking about seeing into each other's souls? I mean, that's some next-level friendship stuff right there. Then there was the whole thing with Barack Obama, where they had some pretty heated disagreements. It's like Putin's always keeping everyone guessing. But it's not just international politics that Putin's known for. He's got a bit of a reputation for being tough on his critics. Like, there are stories about journalists and political opponents mysteriously disappearing or getting into all sorts of trouble. It's like he's got this no-nonsense approach to anyone who speaks out against him. Speaking of tough, Putin's also into martial arts. Yeah, he's a black belt in judo, and he's shown off his skills in public. I mean, it's one way to intimidate your opponents, right? Imagine being a world leader and knowing that Putin could take you down in a judo match. It's like something out of a movie. Now, Putin's been re-elected as president a couple of times, but there was this one time when he couldn't be president for a consecutive term. So, you know what he did? He became the prime minister of Russia for a bit, and then he was like, surprise. I'm running for president again. It's like he's always got a plan up his sleeve. And let's not forget about his love for animals, especially those big, scary ones. Putin's been seen hanging out with tigers and polar bears. I mean, who does that? It's like he's trying to show that he's in control, even when he's around these wild beasts. But you know, folks, there's a lot more to Putin than meets the eye. He's a complex figure, and Russia's a complex country. It's like a giant Matryoshka doll, you know, those Russian nesting dolls. You open one layer, and there's another one inside, and it keeps going. Putin's got layers, too, and he's been running Russia for a long time. So, there you have it, folks, the story of Vladimir Putin, the shirtless horseback riding, judo master, tough on critics, political chess player of Russia. Love him or hate him, you can't deny that he's one interesting character on the world stage. And who knows what he'll do next. It's like a never-ending soap opera over there in Russia, and Putin's the star of the show.